You'll start off with your wood board. You'll have a bunch of different colors of paint also. A paintbrush and also a Q-tip. Your wood pieces. Some netting. And also you'll need tape. First we're going to start off with our black paint. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one full layer of black paint. I'm only going to do one layer for this tutorial. But you can do more if you want it really dark and to make sure nothing comes off. But make sure to have everything black. So just keep going and cover everything. Once we're done, we're going to let it dry. Now, once it's dry, we're going to take our blue paint and with light strokes, we're going to go across the wood board. You might get a different shade of blue in your kit, but that's okay. We're going lightly across it so that we can get a rustic look so that the black pops out in the background. So don't try to color this all blue unless you really want to, but to give it that rustic look, we're just going to go gently across this. We're going to set this aside and let it dry. We're going to take our other paint and do our sea creatures, our anchor, and our wheel. So get ready, get those out, and let's paint these up. And we can set them down and let them dry while we work on the other ones. Don't forget to wash out your brush thoroughly so that you don't accidentally mix colors. You can add colors or details with your Q-tip to your wood pieces. We will now wait for all of these to dry. Now we can glue these on. You can use tacky glue, wood glue, you might even try some Elmer's or some hot glue. It's up to you. And also, if you have any excess, you can use your brush to brush away some of that excess glue so that you don't get it all over your picture. Once they're dry, it's time to get our netting. Place it over it and situate it the way you want it over your picture. You can take as long as you want and make sure to cut off some of that excess so you don't have too much that you're going to have to put down behind the picture. To make this easy, I'm just going to tape it down. If you want to, you can try to glue it down. It can get a little complicated, but I would say the easiest way is to take some tape and tape down your sections. Make sure it's trimmed up and then resituate it after you keep doing it so that it's in the right place. Once you're done taping, you can cut off the excess net so that you don't have a bunch hanging around. And here is our finished picture. It is looking great. I hope yours turned out great too, and thanks for doing this with me. Take care. Bye.